In November of 2008, in response to the financial crisis, the Federal Reserve unveiled a new policy tool in the form of quantitative easing. Previously, the Fed relied on manipulation of short-term interest rates as their primary monetary tool. With QE, now the Fed could gain control of long-end rates simply by buying a massive amount of bonds. In the days that followed its launch, this powerful tool compressed 10-year yields from 4.1% to 2%. In March of 2020, the Fed re-employed this tool in response to the pandemic and drove 10 years from 1.25% to a low around 0.5%. With economic data currently accelerating out of the pandemic, the talk has turned to when the Fed is going to taper bond purchases. One school of thought is that long-end rates will spike with the loss of its largest buyer, but others believe that tapering could cause economic and market distress in other assets that could ultimately drive more buying, more money into the relative safety of U.S. Treasuries. Consensus is that tapering is going to be the first policy change the Fed will employ, and that it will ultimately pave the way for raising short-end rates. The Fed retreat will be a big deal and could be a key catalyst for major market volatility.